What's up, my PT peeps? One eye bride back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 12. Preview, discussion, and some spoilers. Spoiler warning, obviously, if you don't want to know some of the information that's going around, as these are potentially likely to occur on the show for Season 7, Episode 12. Stop watching now if you don't want to know. Here we go. So Season 7, Episode 12. I can't believe it. Episode 12 is coming out pretty soon. But here is... The title is called Say Yes. The synopsis, the group scavenges for supplies. Back in Alexandria, someone must make a morally challenging decision. So the group scavenges for supplies. I would think that's Rick and Michonne that will show in a second. And the someone make a morally challenging decision is probably Rosita, I would think. Now in the promo, you got Michonne and Rick here. They come across the tarp across the fence so you can't really see so he takes out i believe it's his his axe and he hammers on the fence post to draw any walkers nearby they come back they attend they get the attention of this guy and it turns out to be a military guy with some weapons and you know stuff they need because they're out getting weapons for the scavengers the heapsters whatever the saviors themselves whoever everything they need guns 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 right so they find this guy michonne takes him out rick's like we need this. There's probably more like it. And it's a good sign because the military is definitely involved at this event. Whatever it was, it was called in. Might have been a sanctuary place that the National Guard or military was something involved with that because there are a crap ton of walkers now that were people at some point. But it looked to be a carnival at a school or something. Rick and Michonne come across it. Don't know if they're smiling like this when they come across it, but the pictures fit for sure. They're happy. They're excited to see it, but it gets a little dangerous for them. <laughs> we'll see that for sure. Some close calls with Rick and Michonne, but the you know teaser starts with Rick and Michonne in the van. I think it's the bird van, you know, the main van that they always are driving around in or whatever. Michonne's like, I think we should, we should turn back. Rick's like, nah, let's go a little bit farther. You know, they're just hanging out, enjoying their time together. Rick's kind of get smooth, you know, smooth operator Rick Grimes, you know, with Michonne. And they need to get stuff for a variety of groups themselves, the scavengers, heapsters, whatever you want to call them. They need to get stuff, so they go out. And it's just nice to see Rick and Michonne together going out doing stuff. You know, it's, it's just kind of weird because, you know, they smile, they have a good time with each other, which is the mark of any good relationship, I guess. Team Rashone, I like Rick and Rashone together, so this is we're gonna see them scavenging out and about. Now, this, this has to be a different car, I would think. It's gotta be inside the carnival, festival, whatever, at the school. It gets pretty crazy for Rick. He's got some close calls. Rick and Michonne are in this vehicle together. It looks to be different than the van that they're at. They probably park that, then go in, and they probably get into a different vehicle. But you see Michonne already hopped the fence. Rick jumps over the fence to get to the safe spot, and there's just a ton of walkers here. So it, we haven't seen a lot of walkers lately in Season 7, really all of Season 7. We're going to see a crap ton in Season 7, Episode 12. We finally get to see the walkers being a problem for Rick and Michonne. Rick's down for somewhere. He dropped his gun for some reason, and it looks pretty dicey. looks pretty close for Rick. You know, but Rick can't die. Rick's got to be around for the long haul, you know. But he's for some reason, he's deciding to climb the Ferris wheel. I don't know why he's going up there, but Michonne does not like it. She's yelling at Rick. What are you doing? She's in a safe spot. There's nothing around her, obviously, but Rick's going up and around. He's going up, 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 right? So we'll see what the deal is with that. I'm excited to see what's going to happen here. It's going to be some close calls and some crazy stuff. Hopefully they find some good stuff with the military or the National Guard, who or whoever was there too. I mean, all these walkers, they had some some heavy artillery and they show you in the sneak peeks of those rounds that were already used. So hopefully they find some big piece of, you know, weaponry that they can use. Michonne taking out walkers, you know, with her katana, of course. But, you know, I'm excited for this one because, you know, I, anytime with Rick and Michonne, but Michonne kicking ass. I like Michonne and I definitely think Michonne is one of the strongest characters. So who is not the best there to save Rick's ass a couple times in the episode, but at probably before they get to the festival or the carnival, or whatever, they go scavenging. Like they said in there, you got Rick and Michonne going in, kicking the door down together. 
and they might find stuff beforehand and go around or whatever because you see they don't have bags on their back so maybe they find packs with them maybe they go in there first maybe they go around so they hit a couple of different spots i don't know if they load the van up with a ton of crap as you see the box is behind rick now if they make it into the van looks to be the same van that they drove down there's going to be some kissy lovey time between michonne and rick probably after the close call with rick you know the adrenaline's pumping and, and they're thankful for the chance to be together still rosita is going to be in this episode for sure she looks deathly skinny right there by the way i don't know why she's looking in this mirror is she doing her makeup or something i don't know but she seems to be at alexandria either talking to tobin or somebody with that shirt she goes out scavenging on her own i don't see her with anybody else she goes out i don't see anybody with her in the other promo with it she comes across this house and don't know if she knows this house or she just comes across it or whatever she's got a big old pack she's out there getting stuff on there i don't know if she's going to find some stuff but she makes a decision to go out from alexandria there hopefully not on her own but it looks to be that way too and she gets into a little trouble with it for you can see it right here as she kind of wants to go in the house but i think there's some walkers or a pile of walkers or a group of walkers or something but the lady that probably was the previous owner was right there coming out. It's a gruesome walker. I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of walkers in this episode, which I'm kind of excited for because we haven't seen shit. It's The Walking Dead. We need some more walkers. We'll also see the Garbage Pail Kids, Heapster, Scavengers, whatever you want to call them, as Rick, Father Gabriel, Tara Rosita, and Michonne, I believe, go back to the group is what the information is saying online. Basically, everybody right there except for Aaron who's putting away and Tara as well to go back, maybe give them uh, you know supplies that they found to, to make the trade, keep it going because number guns soon or else. So they got to get them some stuff quickly. Also what's said is that Rosita goes to the hilltop and talks to Sasha about a plan, probably something to do with taking out Negan at the sanctuary. That might be the start of that. So I'm excited to see that. That's just a word going around. We'll see if it's true or not in the episode. So there you go, guys. That's the preview discussion and early spoilers for The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 12. Check out The Walking Dead community page on Facebook. All are welcome. Subscribe to the YouTube channel today to get more videos. You guys are awesome, and thank you for watching.